How's it going everyone? Today we're working with our 2018 Subaru Outback. I recently got this ceramic coated two months ago and believe it or not, we haven't touched it, washed it, detailed it within those two months. Reason being, we're testing out a ceramic coating that's good for about two to three years and I wanted to go put it through the ringer. So it's gone through ring, bugs, road trip, some grime on there. I wanna see how this ceramic coating holds up. It was paint corrected, it was decontaminated prior to getting the ceramic coating on there. So everything had, should be good. It's only on the paint and the trim. I haven't done anything with the wheels. So we're gonna go over everything, make sure that we get the vehicle clean and see how the ceramic coating reacts to water. So stay tuned for our work on this Subaru. So this 2018 Subaru Outback, I gotten some rain, dirt and such all over it. And like I said, it's been about two months, maybe a little more than that since I've gotten this coated. And since then it hasn't been washed. So this is a good opportunity for me to take a look at everything, see how it reacts. It does get parked outside and it does go through a lot of, let's say outdoor debris. So wheels and tires will need to definitely be scrubbed down. I'm gonna throw another tire shine on there and get those wheels cleaned up. But my main focus is this paint. So it was ceramic coated with a test ceramic that is good for about two to three years. Um, I wanna see how it reacts after it gets washed, see how the hydrophobic properties work on it. So just like any other exterior detail, we always start off with the wheels and tires. It is the dirtiest part of the vehicle, so it's gonna take some extra attention. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna get the wheels the tires scrubbed down, make sure everything is cleaned up before we start moving on to the body panels. So we're gonna get started on these wheels. Always wanna pre-rinse and get it foamed down first. We do have our IK foam right here, filled with a Adams polishes wheel and tire cleaner. It is diluted down. And if we get these wheel barrels too, that's where all the big stuff are putting up. All right, we'll get working. That's the first wheel down. We've got some water splashed up onto the fenders here. And so far I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I can't wait to see how the reaction once the, the covers or the entire paint is completely clean. So I'm gonna finish up with the rest of the wheels and then we'll hit up the body. All right, so the wheels and tires are completed. Now we're gonna move on to the body and I'm gonna start for the pre-rinse. Make sure that any loose dirt and debris are gonna come off before I start going over with a soap and wash mitt. But for two months, I mean, this car isn't looking that bad. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a pre-rinse and I'm gonna start soaping it down and get it washed up. water there's some really tight beads of water on here and it, it's coming right off just with a spray down so we're gonna keep going I'm gonna hit the back over here this backside has a lot of dirt and debris so let's see how this works out here with me rinsing this off I don't know if all that dirt will rinse right off not a problem yeah some of it's loosened up but back here it looks like it's the heaviest so a lot of that dirt and debris that's come flinging back up towards the back here is still stuck here. So we'll put a little bit of extra attention here, but let's go ahead and finish rinsing off and we'll go on to soaping it down and getting washed. All right, so what we have mixed in here today is our Adams Polish's Mega Foam. It is a pH neutral soap, which is gonna be perfect for us to use on this ceramic coated car. So again, check this out. Tight water beads on here. We're gonna get this car foamed down and ready to go. Let's get to it.
All right, car has been hand washed with our microfiber washing it. I'm gonna rinse it off and see how everything looks. I have a good feeling about this. Oh yeah, and immediately water beads still there. Really good durability, rejecting the water. So let's get the rest of this car rinsed off. All right, rinsing it down is done. Water is still beating. Now, when it comes to drying any of our ceramic coated cars, we don't use a towel. We don't towel dry the car. What we end up using, use our Ego. This is a Ego 765 with a seven and a half amp battery. And this is a touchless dry. It is very beneficial for any ceramic coated car. So even though it is a microfiber towel, you are still dragging those fibers across the surface, potentially scratching or running down the ceramic coat. So we like to use a touchless system, which is our Ego dryers. Now for any other water residue that's left over on the vehicle, we do touch it up with a soft microfiber towel, but for the most part, we use this Ego 765 to blow off majority of the water, big water buildup and including the little pockets of water that's tucked in between the headlights, taillights, and so forth. done with the exterior here and overall I am thoroughly impressed with this ceramic coating I mean this car gets beat it's driven every day it's parked outside in the Sun dirt and debris everywhere but the way that this ceramic coating held up without getting touched for two months I'm thoroughly impressed the water beads on here very tight there really hasn't been any degrading to the ceramic coating that I noticed, but this car is in excellent, excellent shape after that ceramic coating and wash. So we're going to keep going. I got to do the interior and we'll check back on everything afterwards. All right, for the interior of the car, we're not doing anything crazy. Just a quick vacuum wipe down of everything. Since the car get, does get used a lot, we don't need to do much, but uh, we'll save a deep clean for another day, but what we'll be doing here, we're going to do a quick vacuum. Get all this debris out, maybe a tornado or blow out, get everything blown out, and um, wipe down. So surfaces, cup holders, little door pockets, thing like, things like that in between the cracks over here. We'll get that all cleaned up. Now, of course, before we do any type of interior cleaning, my rule of thumb, clean up your workspace. Last thing you want is to have anyone come out and see the mess that you've made. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all put away first before we start the interior. All right, now we put away our first mess. Now we've taken out the second. Here we've got our Tornador and then our DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum. Very quiet vacuum to use around in neighborhoods. What we're gonna do, we're gonna blow out this interior, get all this dog hair. Our dog does leave a little bit of mess, but we're gonna blow out the dog hair, get dust out and then start vacuuming up. And we'll do a quick little wipe down and we'll do a quick walk around on the vehicle.
2018 Subaru Outback is complete. Again, two months without getting a wash or detail or anything. Did a quick little interior cleanup. Floor mats got scrubbed down. There are some stains here and there. We're not gonna address those today, but another time. So all we did was a quick wipe down on the interior, get the dusted off, blown out, vacuumed up, close that up. Same with the back. Kids go back here, so it gets dirty. Uh, just did a quick little wipe down, nothing crazy. Dusted it off, blew it out with the torn door. Interior's looking pretty good. As for the exterior, man, I am thoroughly impressed with the ceramic coating. Two months of rain, sun, dirt, debris, road trip, all of that, you name it, it's gone through it and it is holding up very well. The slickness on here, still there. A lot of, a lot of gloss, so. It's holding back from that pink correction. It did get a two stage pink correction and all the swirls and scratches came out and it did protect against it. So everything is turning out really nice. Now, this is not for me to say that you should let your vehicle sit out for two months without getting it cleaned after a ceramic coating, nor you should neglect it. This is just a test for us to see how well the ceramic coating did with the time being of the two months without getting washed or detailed. As you can see, it turned out really nice, but if you have a ceramic coated vehicle, make sure you take care of it. Any vehicle in that matter, if it's ceramic coated or if it's not, always make sure you get it detailed and clean. These cars have a lot of pores in the paint that get filled up with a lot of grime and debris. It needs to be cleaned and maintained. Otherwise, it does cause damage to your paint, whether it is ceramic coated or not. If you let it sit there for too long, it will cause damage. So. You'll be seeing more tests on the vehicle. There will be other vehicles that we do have ceramic coated that we will be testing. But in the meantime, the look on this vehicle looks great. So next time we see you, check out our next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Instagram, Island Man Detailing. We'll see you on the next video.